Hey guys, welcome to a shrine walkthrough for Tada Rock Shrine in Tears of the Kingdom. This one is located right over here on the map. So as I slowly zoom in, it is not above ground. It's actually in a cave and you will find this cave roughly where I'm aiming right now. So you'll land here and you'll go through like a little walkway behind the waterfall and then into the cave and find the shrine. So at this location in the shrine, the puzzle is quite simple once you know what to do. Of course, everything is quite simple once you know what to do. But grab the first block, drop it in. This one's really easy and then jump across. That one is a no brainer. I'm sure everybody thought of that. The second part is maybe a little bit more tricky. So you're going to go here and there is an ice cube that falls on the left hand side here. You want the ice cube to be about a little bit like half of the size of the main cube. This is still fine. We're going to use it as a stepping stone to reach that chest over there. So place it over here bring the big metal block as well and we're going to place it over there and now you're just going to climb up there and get the chest as usual we do not spoil what's inside the chest go do the shrine yourself to go see and then we are done here so now we need to actually get a full-sized ice cube so we're going to go ahead and melt this one and we're going to have to use the metal block again to to cover the flames entirely so just cover the flames just like this everything put the cube over here so you can get a nice fresh full-size one there we go and now you're going to take it to the lava you're going to drop it in the lava it's going to make like a platform there's actually two of them and you're just going to like zigzag rotate one when you're on the other one you just move the other one and go across you can also use rewind to try get across if you want once you're here there is a metal box that falls down it gets on fire you got to put the fire out so that it doesn't break and then drop it across without touching the lava and then go across again do the same thing to just get to the other side once you're here, you need to build a pillar. You're going to put the wood on one side. You're going to put the ice in the middle. So ice in the middle over here. Boom. And then you're going to put the metal side over here. The metal side is the one that we're going to put into the flames on the end here. So put it there and you're going to grab from the metal side because it's at the bottom and you're going to rotate it until it's like in a pillar form. You have to be holding the metal side so they can get it aiming high like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And you're going to put it like that so that the fire only hits the metal. And then you need to take this ball out with the lightning and you're going to push it to the side so that the water is not electrified and that you can jump on this metal piece. And we're going to be using a send from the very back corner over here to basically ascend through the entire pillar to the end of the puzzle. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and thank you so much for watching.